Hello, it's Wednesday today. I am home alone all day today because Isabel is off adventuring. Again, she's gone on a college excursion to London. My boyfriend has dropped her very early at college this morning at 7am and my wonderful dad is going to collect her at 2am. <laughs> Sorry boys, but thank you so, so much for doing that. That was really nice of them. <laughs> Obviously I can't drive so I couldn't do it, but she was so excited, so looking forward to it. She was preparing snacks and things for it last night. It's lovely to see her branching off into the big world and getting adventures in, you know, finding places and things that I have not introduced her to, you know, it's just wonderful. She went to Chinatown last week apparently and bought Chinese snacks and had a good old look around and they went and had lunch together in a pub, her and her college mates. They went to watch two West End shows last week and they're doing the same thing this week as well. I didn't really film anything yesterday apart from the outro to the previous day's vlog but I had drama. I got pinged on the NHS app. Apparently, I have been in close contact with somebody who's tested positive for coronavirus, but I have no idea who, because the people I've been close with, none of them have mentioned anything about it, and they would have done, you know, my band members or anything like that, and I don't know who else I've been close with, but I do know that next door's two children have it, but they're not unwell. One of them's completely asymptomatic and the other one has a sore throat. They tested both of them because one had the sore throat, so they did the test and then they tested the other one. The other one was positive as well. So they're isolating, but I have had no contact with them whatsoever. The mother was very kind and just sort of told me over the wall at the back, you know, at a distance. Um, so I wonder if it's that. But anyway, I had to go and get a PCR test, didn't I? But I've had the result through this morning and it was negative as we would expect, unless I'd got it from somewhere else other than next door's kids. I have no idea. But anyway, speaking of testing, I am going to go and get some new boxes of lateral flow tests now because I've almost run out. We've been using so many because I've been quite active sort of out and about like with the gigs and all that and rehearsals I've been doing a lot of lateral flow tests I'm getting quite accustomed to shoving a thing up my nose uh, anyway I'm gonna go and see if they've got any left I hope I can get there early enough because I can't remember what time they switch from that to PCRs because they have a cut-off point if you don't get there by a certain time you have to come back the next day so wish me luck kind of nice to get out and have a walk anyway even if there aren't any left at least I've had some exercise Minutes later, here we go, four big boxes of lateral flow tests that'll keep me going for a while. It's meant for me and Izzy actually. Just remembered I bought a bag to put them in, that's handy. <laughs> Mum will be watching this, I actually bought these bags, a load of them, for my mum as a present just when we went into lockdown like just before and so I thought well, there's no point in giving it to her because she couldn't go shopping for months and then I forgot so I'll have to get her some more next time I go to Ikea. Just stopping to look at the river, I like stopping and looking at rivers, not much water in it. We really haven't had a lot of rain, to be honest. It's been quite arid for Wales. There was a most definite chill in the air when I first got up this morning though. I popped out first thing and picked a load of beans from my garden. Need to water it later, haven't done it yet. Yeah, they're really coming into their own now, getting a big, great big handful every day. I won't cook them today though. I'm gonna wait till Izzy's back. She's coming home tomorrow because she's gonna stay with Grandad tonight after he picks her up in the early hours. I didn't film it because I've only got my great big camera with me, but I just nipped in a shop and got celery, one mushroom and one pepper to go with my lunch. Seven in each, so yeah, 28. And also one mushroom and one wrinkly pepper that I got for 20 pence from the reduced box in the uh, fruit and veg place. I've got a big shop coming later. A great big enormous Tesco's delivery. I've got one of these flexi saver slots. I think it cost me £1.50 or something like that. It was really cheap. It's coming between something like five and nine. So there's a big window, but I knew I was gonna be in anyway. And it's one of these big bulky shops where I just every so often bulk buy tins of pulses, tins of tomatoes, soya milk, just really heavy items that are a bit of a pain to be carrying back from the shop every few days. So that is what's coming later. Right now, I am going to edit because I'm still working on the Sainsbury's lunch date vlog. For some reason, it's taken me a long time. I know why, it's because all the GoPro footage outside was dingy and I'm having to fix it all <laughs> to try and make it look acceptable shot by shot. So that's taken me ages. I enjoy doing it, but it's time consuming. Right, I'm going. Bye.
It's about half past one now. I haven't finished that vlog, but I got hungry. So I'm cooking some lunch, a very typical Imo lunch. I had three of these cauldron sausages left over, so I've cut them into little discs. And I've added the whole mushroom that I bought from the local grocers, that pepper, one stick of celery. And now, oh yes, I'm going to have my favorite. I think they might be a bit small to be honest, to be uh, picking, but I am anyway, because you know, I'm getting impatient. And I'm wondering if it might just help the others grow more. I'm gonna go for some of these tomatoes, the green ones, because I like green ones fried, you see. They're just, oh, they're delish. But are there any big enough? Because I did have some yesterday. Well, I won't have many then. I am starting to get some bits and bobs. I wish I had some courgettes ready, but they're all still pretty small. One more token. Mm. Oh, they're all too small. No, I'm not going to pick them. They're too small. But I'll have these two. And I shall enjoy those. They're funny to cut up, they are, because they're so dense and firm compared to the ripe ones. This is going to be a very green lunch. I don't know if you can eat these without cooking. I've done my usual trick of adding some ginger, garlic, and some dried chilies today because this chili plant is, um, and they're looking quite interesting, aren't they? Look at that, it looks like they've put themselves in a fire or something. <laughs> but yeah, they're not quite red yet, are they? So I'm saving them until they are. It's quarter to four now. I've just got the video exporting, oh my goodness. Anyway, my Tesco delivery is not coming till five. You see, although I ordered a four hour slot, they send you a text to sort of narrow it down to an hour once they know. So I've known for a few hours now that it's coming between five and six. So now is the time to get out and have a walk if I want to have one. So I've kind of been for one already because I went to get those lateral flow tests, but I haven't done my 10,000 yet. So I'm going to go out now and I'm going to try and film on my good camera, not my GoPro, because I've just spent so long sorting out all that rubbish GoPro footage from the dingy light. So I'm going to experiment with my bigger camera which I've got lazy and I haven't been using, but is the best camera that I own in my opinion. Although it's rubbish for filming indoors, so I'm using a different one for indoors. Yeah, they all do different things. They've all got different strengths. Come on, Cammy, you come in with Immo. <laughs> I'm out and I'm getting ideas for more hand stitching customization here. Look, I Velcro strapped this little uh, mini tripod here to my bag and I'm thinking, oh, why don't I hand stitch? the velcro strap on there or maybe a couple so I could have it just on my strap here and I thought I know I could do an umbrella one on the other side. Umbrellas are always a bit of a pain to carry especially once they get wet because you don't want to put them in your bag and those little sleeves that they come in does anybody ever put them back in again or do they just end up in a drawer somewhere? Oh I know what I've forgotten to bring tub for the blackberries look at those beauties all glistening and shining it's really getting quite autumnal now isn't it oh they look so lovely I completely forgot about the Tupperware. I also forgot to bring my secateurs for these bad boys, but to be honest, I don't think I'm gonna need it on this particular route. I'm trying to do a quickie today. These things are coming into season now. Oh, these aren't so much, but some of the ones over there were really bulging. The seed pods, you know, the ones that you touch them and they go pew, and they shoot seeds everywhere. Izzy used to love those when she was little. Just as I was leaving the house, I double checked the text message from Tesco's and I realised my shopping isn't coming till eight o'clock tonight, actually. So we're all right for a bit. I still need to make it a quickie though, because I want to get my vlog up in time for 5.30 if possible. Well, it was very slightly early actually, but as you can see, <laughs> bit of a mess. The shopping is here. I'll arrange it all nicely and you can have a look and see what I've got this time. Okay, I'm gonna start off with the children frozen so I can get it away quick. Frozen soya beans, some bassa fillets, veggie sausages, organic tofu, halloumi, mature cheddar, and some little pack butter. Now I don't have a lot of fruit and veg for this one because I am about to go away actually, but I've just got a few little staples, these peppers, Couple of bananas, not many, I think it's four. Mushrooms, because I can't live without them. Brayburn apples and some easy peelers. We're on to the real cupboard stocking stuff now. For my cellar, basically, most of this will go in. Loads of tin tomatoes, mold spot is probably like 10 tins of those in there. Loads of red kidney beans, they're so cheap, but they're nutritious, they're tasty, and they keep, you know, so 
if I didn't eat them for a year, they'd still be good. I, they'll be eaten before that, believe me. Huge, great big thing of pasta. We all get through that. Butter beans, chickpeas. Well, so is he quite likes the cheese ravioli and tomato sauce, and I will tolerate it as well in an emergency. So we've got about five of those, I think. Um, passata, I've got five passata because again they'll keep, might just keep them in the cellar on the shelf, It'll be fine, loads of butter beans and a jar of olives we do get through quite a lot of olives again they keep, you see, source of fibre vitamins, but you don't have to worry about them going off, I got a load of the Alpro Soya, these are the slightly sweetened flavoured ones that don't curdle in coffee, that's just my preferred way of drinking coffee, also I got some of the cheap white chocolate, that's like 30 something pence a bar really cheap i quite like just like four squares of it in the afternoon pretzels izzy loves them i don't really like them i stocked up on some coffee beans because well i've still got some but you, you know you don't want to run out <laughs> got some decaffeinated tea bags and a jar of marmite i got two different sorts of vimto squash this is a substitution but it was quite a good substitution i ordered one big box of special k red berries but they gave me two smaller boxes but according to the delivery man I've actually ended up with slightly more for the same price yay I also got some olive oil which is perfect timing because I'm literally just running out some non-bio washing tablets some ginger nuts and cheddars three packets of corn cakes eight cans of cherry pepsi max and last of all lurking over here because I haven't actually brought it in the kitchen yet lots and lots of coke zero that will keep us going for ages I must admit it was a little bit of an effort getting it all in from the front door because I'm still kind of hurt from the fanfare. <laughs> oh, I forgot to say this afternoon I've been playing my flute after I got in from that walk, practiced my flute and did a little bit of editing as well and had dinner. I ate some leftovers from yesterday because nobody's here so I didn't have to cook anything particularly nice. I could just eat scraps and that was fine. But anyway, I'm going to go and edit the rest of the video now, which I'm looking forward to. But if you've enjoyed this one, a like really helps the channel to grow and I so appreciate it. And if you're new here and would like to follow more of my story, do hit the subscribe button and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!